So in this video, I'm going to be talking about breath work and how to connect with our original matrix and how to heal all disease, all karma, all trauma, karma and trauma, physical misalignments, everything, how everything can be healed or brought to a state of health, how to heal the DNA, how to heal everything, or at least hold it in a place of health, whether sometimes things don't get 100% better, but that doesn't mean it's not perfect as it is. And uh, I'll be working with this in this week's free webinar this Sunday. You can come to that. There's a link below where you can work with me in person. Um, and after it's finished, the, the video will, will be in a link below. And at the end of this video, the link after it's finished will go to a recording of that live webinar. So, um, in holographic breathing, it's possible to connect to a form of breath that seems to precede our life on this planet and is how we form. There's a movement of every cell, there's a movement of every part of our body. And we talk about the breath as to do with air, but with holographic breathing, when we are breathing with air, we are also breathing with every cell, with every muscle, to allow that breath to come in, and that breath to leave. Now that movement happens in the womb. And maybe some amniotic fluid comes in and out through the mouth as you're doing it, but the lungs aren't open yet. They don't really open fully until after you're born, so not a lot. But that movement through every cell, through every organ, connected, every cell, every bone, every organ, every part of us as we're forming and in alignment with our original matrix is happening as we are gestating in the womb and growing. Our brain cells are growing. We're full of forgotten the name, cells that become anything. I've forgotten what they're called. They're better people, stem cells that are growing, forming the organs, forming the brain, forming the neural system, forming everything. And in holographic breathing, this form of breathing is activated. That is profound. We move back to that form of breathing, healing, of which we were formed out of, of which we came into this life with, of which is connected to our original matrix, that which we grew around, formed around, formed out of that blueprint, devoid of the karma, injuries, makeup of our mind that we produce on top of it, that original map before 
our intellect and before our mind is formed. And a lot of profound healing happens when the energies reach the brain. The kundalini moves up quickly and through the brain, but also in a slow way, it transforms through the whole body. And at a certain point, it starts moving through the brain as a permanent thing. And there's a tremendous shift of consciousness when the energy reaches the head, because as it transitions through your brain, you can no longer be the same. You can no longer be that mind. Before that point, you are that mind. You are manifestly attached to this mind that you've created for yourself. And when the energy reaches the head, it pulls you out of that. That can be very, very distressing. It's like you feel like you're going mad or you're going to die. And it's good to stay fairly safe through that time. Definitely don't go and see a doctor or a psychiatrist or someone. Just let that process work its way through. And then when that's done, you are no longer that mind. You're more viewing it. You are more in a state of innocence. You are aligned back with that original matrix before the mind. So there's the original matrix before the mind. Then there's us healing ourselves and the structures of the brain are there, the minds there, and we disengage from those structures and are viewing from a state of no mind. So with a baby, the mind is not there. and are in innocence and deeply connected to their original matrix. With an adult, the mind is there. It's not like it goes away forever, but you drop into a place where you are not that mind. So you can't be like a baby again, but, or you can't be a baby again but you can be in that no mind state of consciousness. And until that point, your illnesses, your emotional upset, all the different cycles of life, they will carry on to one level or another. I mean, with therapy and meditation and healing, you can pretty up your box, your cage, your life, so it's no longer, no longer living in this terrible life. But it's still like living in a bird cage, and you end up with it, start with this really small bird cage and it's dark and you're scared to go into different parts of it. And through spiritual exploration and healing and therapy and whatever way, you, you clear all the ghosts out of your cage and you become balanced and whatever, and you end up with a golden cage which is very comfortable. But then you start realizing you are still in a cage. You are still held 
by the mind. You've just prettied it up. You've become more positive. You view things in a more positive way. You have affirmations and ways of staying positive, ways of trying to stay healthy, different scenarios, different strategies of viewing things so you can feel good and be in good wavelengths and vibes and things like that. But you are still in a cage. And when the energy reaches the head, it destroys the brain. It not, doesn't destroy the brain, it destroys the cage. You're not in that cage anymore. A good way of talking about that is to say you are out of your box. <laughs> That can go quite a few ways, but you are literally out of your box in the same way as somebody who loses their mind or with a psychotic episode. It's not dissimilar from a psychotic episode, but if it is a genuine spiritual evolving coming out of meditation, healing and self-discovery. Generally, that won't happen until you are good and ready for it. Well, to be honest, you can never be good and ready, but at least you have enough resources to somehow weather the storm as it does, and quite often people find that there's someone around who can help them come through it. I've met a few people going through that. It hasn't always been, I haven't always been able to help them as there's been other people around um, but hopefully people always find a way through. So things change at that point and a genuine healing happens at that point when you're out of your box, when your cage has gone then all of those things that are holding your diseases in place, the mind is holding all of those structures in place, then those things can naturally realign and heal and release into the higher self. Now, you don't have to go the full way to do that, and we're not going the full way. That just happens in people's own time. But in the free live webinar this Sunday, we will be working with it, holographic breathing in a particular way to connect to our original matrix, our original breath matrix. In a way, there's the original matrix. What we're working with, the original breath, which in some ways may be before the original matrix, and that brings about these energetic structures. And in that, I will be teaching how to let the energies traverse through the brain, through the mind, in a way that we are aware of it, 
And when that is happening, that is what's holding the diseases. That is, you know, it's not like all these illnesses, positional things, traumas have nothing to do with us. We are holding those. Whatever happens to us through our body or emotions also happens in the brain and through the mind. And normally there's no consciousness of that in the mind and in the brain. And this isn't like, I don't know the word, affirmations or looking at thoughts. This is a wholly different thing where you feel the patterns, the energies, the qualities of the brain and the energies releasing from injured, out of place, ill parts of your body, releasing and synchronizing and releasing through the brain at the same time. And then as that happens, the mind orientation or structures to do with that disease are let go of. And then it can get better from the, as it releases in the brain, it can release up to the higher self. And in the end, the advent of the higher self and spiritual realms connecting to that disease, illness, structure, karma, past life, whatever it is, wherever it stems from, from whatever has happened. When it fully releases through the energies the brain, the head, connects to the higher self and divine realms. Then it can get better. Don't have to get somebody to do it for us. We don't need to take a pill It's fully available, at least with holographic breathing, it is fully available. So I will be teaching that free of charge this Sunday. It won't be here forever. Use it while it's here, while it's being offered free of charge. Use, use me, <laughs> use my videos, use my webinars, because it's evolving all of the time. And at some point it may become less accessible, it may not always be free. So while it is, while you can access it in this way, I'm not saying it won't always be free, but there's a good chance that this will grow and I'll become busy and it won't always be available free of charge. So it's worth while coming along and getting the goods while it is. Okay, on that note, I wish you a good day and thank you for listening.